in turns working on shoreline at sunrise. Being able to do field work watching the sunrise or the sunset is really pretty amazing. It's kind of hard to believe that it's true. So I feel really lucky to be able to do that too. Host on camera. Welcome to Outside Science Inside Parks. I'm Sammy Demers. And this time we're in Acadia National Park where interns are monitoring marine worms in and around Acadia with marine worm harvesters. Let's go check it out. Opening sequence. Graphic reads Outside Science Inside Parks Acadia National Park sign. Crew walks onto muddy shoreline. Speaker is Stephanie Letourneau, ecology assistant. For this project, we're trying to understand marine worm populations in different harvestable areas in Acadia National Park. Marine worm harvesting is a fishery here in Maine and they sell worms as bait. And so we're trying to understand what the populations are currently looking like. So we've got data from the past that we're going to be comparing to, but we're also trying to understand how this methodology is working in comparison to what the wormers are finding. So we're also working with a worm harvester named Fred to compare what he's finding with what we're finding right in the field and have a translation of that data. Digging up worms. Speaker is Zoe Broomba, ecology assistant. In recent years and just in the long term scale, um, there's been a noted decline in the worms. So we're interested in kind of uh, monitoring these species and their abundance, their kind of composition to um, and then doing that work alongside local marine worm harvesters to kind of get their local knowledge and their long-term knowledge as well. Speaker is Fred Johnson, local marine worm harvester. Unfortunately, that population has gone down. We haven't had a worm set east of here, you know, going on 25 years. And I mean, there's been little spot sets, but they weren't intense and they were gone in two weeks, they were gone. And it's, too bad, but it, we need to find out what's going on, whether it's man causing it, whether it's a cycle, I don't know. Uh, they say back in history, and I, I was too young to know, that they had a worm crash like that happen then, and then they came back. I'm hoping they do, but I'd like to know what's going on. Fred digging for worms, close up of worm. I've dug worms here for probably 50 years. It's been in my family for a long time forever basically, harvesting from the shores. And they'll tell you, they had to work, they had to learn how to walk in the mud. Researcher is collecting data. But it's great to see them, they're, they're excited, they're into it. They want to find out as much as I want to find out because right now the worm population is in an all time low. That's why the price is so high. Fred at Shoreline. It's just a rewarding experience to be able to learn, explore, and do research with somebody who it actually affects and has a stake in the game. I've never before this internship experienced like doing community science before, um, so it's been really cool to experience that. Fred has A, been a super important resource, which just kind of showing us the ropes, showing us the best techniques on how to find these worms helping us with our species identifications, things like that. And they got four tombs in their stomach. And then really getting to hear like the questions that he has too has really informed a lot of the work we do too. Um, because again, he's been following these animals for tens of years, right? So 60 plus years. Um, so he has some really great ideas about how they've changed or what might be um, attributed to that. Fred at Shoreline, graphic reads, Outside Science, Inside Parks is a production of NPS Natural Resource Stewardship and Science in association with Colorado State University.